All right, time for another tackle tips video. Um, so I figured this time we'd cover some musky stuff, stuff that I'm excited to throw uh, in 2020. Uh, I might be a little late with this video, but I've kind of been slowly accumulating some lures. Um, the real question tonight is how long will it take before our black cat interrupts uh, this video? So uh, yet to be determined right now, she's sitting just out of frame of the camera. It is literally a matter of time uh, before she interrupts the video, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, so starting things off um, for the 2020 season, uh, clearly not great because the hooks are already tangled in a garbled mess, so that's good. Very prepared, uh, very ready for the season, obviously. Um, so first thing, uh, that I pulled out of my magic little box here is a wonderful uh, custom Medusa uh, in that uh, I think it's like translucent walleye color or white walleye. I don't remember what they called it. It was on today's angler. Robbie caught like a 52 incher on it. It's an awesome looking color. A little translucent, a little flash. Um, tails are great. Just the color itself is cool. I think that uh, this one will do some serious damage on my home lake. Pretty pumped to throw it. Uh, moving on to the next one here, if I can get it out without too much hassle. Um, Lee Lures Water Chopper. Now, this isn't really a new lure and it's actually just new to me. It's not even a new lure itself. And I can see uh, looking at it, it needs, there we go, straightened a little bit down there. But um, this, uh, Thanks to uh, Jeff Contreras from Just Keep Casting um, for letting me buy this bait off of him at a really nice price. Uh, I really appreciate it. Pumped to throw it. Got a flap tail off of him too, which uh, I'm also pumped to throw. Uh, but I'm not featuring it in this video because I've thrown one like the last two years and done pretty well with it. So, uh, really pumped about the water chopper, especially. Uh, before we get into the the midsummer bite and they're looking for maybe a little bit more subtle a little bit smaller presentation so Lee lures water chopper uh, what else we got in this bag of goodies ah okay another one here uh, for kind of the late spring into summer transition the uh, pandemonium tackle SRJ slow rise jerk um, Jeff Van Remortal was given a little spiel about these on TRO and they look really interesting. I love dive and rise baits. Uh, these things have those awesome like teed hooks, which um, I guess the jury's kind of out, but a lot of people say that the teed hooks really help with hookup ratio. So I guess uh, I'll follow that up later and let you guys know if that works out. Um, but I'm really excited about this color. It looks fantastic. Uh, really excited to throw it. A little bit more expensive, high-end uh, than like your average run-of-the-mill Suic. Not that it necessarily, because of the price line, will work any better. Um, but it, it'll just get a little bit different action, a little bit different profile in the water, hopefully. Um, I'm still not going away from my Suics, don't worry. Um, those things are money all the time, and I love them. So looking forward to throwing Pandemonium Tackle, Slow Rise Jerk, uh, just a really nice like nine inch profile um, that should be very effective um, for uh, what, I, what the, the bodies of water that I'll be targeting. Clearly I can't talk, so that's fine, but uh, pandemonium tackle, that's okay. All right, <clears throat> now next up, you may have seen on Keys Outdoors, uh, like the first or second episode of the season, they were fishing a lot of these gliders um, from Phantom with the live print series or images. I don't know, they were using a crappie one. Crappie one looked great. Um, I got a bluegill one here. The live print just looks fantastic. I cannot wait to throw this thing. It just looks so good. The amount of uh, like pike that I have kept with bluegill about this size in their stomachs, I know that at the very least this thing is gonna catch some pike. Hopefully some muskies too. Uh, those real life patterns just look too good not to give a shot. So really excited to throw this, um, you know, here in the spring, maybe in just a week or two, maybe not even a week or two, maybe in like a couple of days. We'll just have to see uh, how 
timing works out and when I can get out on the water. But looking forward to throwing uh, this little live, live print bluegill phantom. Thing looks just phenomenal. Getting a nice pile of baits here going and you guys are probably like, wow, Matt, you spent a lot of money on lures this winter. And I'm like, yeah. All right, so the next one here you guys are gonna make fun of me for because I'm gonna say I'm excited to throw a single girl from um, Musky Mayhem Tackle. And everyone's like, those came out last year, and you are right, they came out last year, but for whatever reason I didn't jump on the bandwagon. Decided to give one a shot this year. I didn't throw a ton of bucktails last year. Uh, for whatever reason, I just, they, they weren't doing the trick for me. Um, and I, you know, Probably should have thrown them more, especially on some of those tougher days, but I didn't. Uh, but I picked up a single girl to try this year. I'm really excited about it. The profile's great. Um, if you watch Keys Outdoors, the guy just has been hammering them with uh, the singer, single girl the last two years. Really works well in those small water situations, which not all of the situations I fish are super small water, but uh, definitely the bodies of water I fish, it should work pretty darn well. Uh, looks very reminiscent of the uh, Booker tail that I caught my very first musky on. Okay, next, next, next. Uh, we got props to uh, Doug Wagner on um, the musky frenzy stagger. He's been just, in his videos, he just hammers them all the time in Lake of the Woods, wherever he's at on uh, the stagger bucktails. So I figured I'd pick one up in a color that I like, um, and if it works, then I'll get more. And if it's just like the others, then it'll be fine. And that is when we got interrupted by Ace. Yep. And she's taken away. Okay, so uh, how many lures in are we? One, two, three, four, five, six lures in, and the black cat interrupted if you're keeping score at home. Anyway, I guess I don't have a ton to say about uh, the Musky Frenzy Stagger. Just hopefully the, the, the different blades will put off a good vibration, um, similar to, but just a little smaller than the, the 910 combo. Um, for Musky Mayhem, I had a really nice follow on one of those this summer, and unfortunately she just didn't quite get the back hook when she came up and nipped it, but it'll be okay. Uh, hopefully the stagger can get the job done uh, this summer for us. Uh, a couple, a couple more here, I guess. Um, let's see here. Another one uh, from Phantom. We got the Exorcist. This thing is enormous, and it's supposed to dive to ten foot or more. I don't know. I need to take that weight out. I don't think I need this going down to 10 foot. There's only really one situation in the bodies of water I fish where I think I would even need it to go that deep. But again, uh, the live print series uh, just looks phenomenal. Musky love perch, pike love perch, anything that swims and eats things pretty much loves perch. I love perch. They're delicious, so I can understand why the other fish like them too. Um, this thing is just another kind of a different take on a dive and rise. I kind of wanted to try, you know, some different types of dive and rises this year that maybe would be just a little bit different, a little bit, um, a little bit different action as far as what the fish might normally see as far as a dive and rise type bait is concerned. That's why I got the SRJ. That's why I'm trying the Exorcist just to kind of vary things up in hopes that these fish uh, might be triggered by something that they're not seeing quite as often. Um, maybe I'll do a, a bit of a review on some of these baits too after I fish them a little bit and kind of see what I think. Um, but I'm really pumped to throw this. This thing looks fantastic. Uh, if you watch the Exorcist videos online, the thing just absolutely dances under the water and that was kind of what really hooked me in the first place was just the way that this thing moved underwater and had kind of a hybrid glider slash dive and rise action. The hooks make a ton of noise on the bait itself. Um, it should call in muskies from a long ways away. And what muskie doesn't want to eat a 10 inch perch? Um, I don't know. I'm not a muskie, but I'd imagine a lot of them would eat a 10 inch perch. Uh, running out of room, got 
got one left. Uh, just received it in a package literally Wednesday. And I guess it's Tuesday now, so almost a week ago. But I was sick last week, so I'm counting it as like I just got it in the mail not very long ago. Uh, this is a Ridgeway Customs um, like Twitch bait. Um, Matt Ridgeway and Charlie Ridgeway run their own bait company here in Iowa out of the Des Moines area. Um, I'll link their YouTube channel below if you want to see the, these things in action. Uh, Matt has some incredible figure eight eats on that channel. None of the videos are incredibly long. Uh, it doesn't take much to watch them and they are really cool. There's some awesome fish catches on that. Uh, on that channel. I just happened upon it one weekend randomly and pretty much went through the whole entire channel. So uh, it wasn't long till I uh, linked up with him on Facebook and ordered one of these for myself. So uh, if they work, I am, which I'm assuming that they will, because I mean, look at the thing, looks phenomenal. Um, I will be purchasing some more from him for sure. Uh, have not really gotten into the Twitch bait game, like the Death Raider, all that good stuff. I just have uh, kind of stayed away from it. I don't know why. I don't really have any explanation as to why. Um, but I'm going to try and do more with that this year, and this uh, lure will hopefully motivate me to do so. Uh, like I said, if it works half as good for me as it does uh, him, then I should be putting some serious fish in the boat on this thing uh, this spring, summer, fall, pretty much any time. Uh, I go out. So yeah, I'm uh, really excited to give this a shot. It's got a nice rattle in it. Um, has a really nice like wide wobble, which I feel like is fairly unique. Those Booker, uh, those Death Raiders and stuff tend to have a very narrow wobble, which is fine. Um, and definitely something, um, definitely something that can be very effective, but also um, I feel like something that is Pretty widely used. I don't know. I don't use a lot of twitch baits. I suppose if you've made it this far in the video of me ranting about musky lures, then well, here we are. So um, yeah, Ridgeway Customs, stinking pumped to throw this thing. Cannot wait. Uh, I appreciate you guys if you actually watch this whole video. Um, I, I appreciate it. It's a lot of just dryness and me. Uh, basically vlogging about musky lures, which doesn't take much to eat up time if you're me. I'm sure Callie can attest to that as she is giving me the death glare from across the kitchen. So that's great. Uh, all of us have our own vices and obsessions and mine just happens to be fishing. Anyway, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you. Appreciate you watching. Uh, I hope that maybe some of these musky lures spark some thoughts of your own. Um, feel free if you've thrown them, comment give me critiques, whatever you want to do. Um, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one.